Jeez, what do I like about myself? I'm gonna need this for that. My razor wit, obviously. Ugh, okay, Homestuck. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about between Beta and Alpha. Like, I know the first session that they played was called Beta, and I'm assuming by Alpha you mean, like, after the scratch occurring, but I haven't even gotten that far. I, like, I just started Act 6, so. My favorite troll? Um, I'm kind of pissed at myself for saying this, but I think Riska, because... Um, she started out as a bitch at first, but she she's kind of a complex character, considering the whole troll culture and everything. Um, and then Aradia, after, just because, like, she, she needs one. You know, like, I'm so glad she got her comeuppance. Um, for Exiles, definitely PM. Um, she, she's a fucking badass. Oh, my favorite character? Um, it used to be Rose, just because I thought she was, like, a pretty solid female character, and then she went off the fucking loony bin and started praying to Satan, like, um, that was weird. Um, I think Dave is pretty funny. I think, like, Hussey kind of tries too hard with how witty he's supposed to be, um, but he's clever. Um, who do I ship? Um, I don't know, it's kind of weird you asked me that because I asked you the same question you said you feel weird because they're so young. But honestly, like, the way they talk, they do not at all sound like 13 year olds or however old they're supposed to be. Um, so, Riska and Tavros, I guess it's because they have a weird relationship and on, honestly I think it's a little sad um they're dynamic and you know I'm a sucker for that whole tragic doomed romance kind of thing this is a spoiler by the way so um if you read Homestuck which I doubt um this probably won't matter to you but I mean I hope he's not dead for real you know cause like I I don't really care about him, but it's pretty sad. Like, that half of the trolls died just because of Gamzee's rampage, that was, which was hilarious, by the way. Um, and I like I like Jade Carcat, Carcat, actually. I think that's kind of cute. Um, and I like Terezi and Dave. And then I like Carcat and... Gamzee is Moa Rails. So everything that wasn't Moa Rails, I like them as um, mate sprites. Um, and my favorite S update thus far is obviously Make Her Pay. That is so awesome. Um, if I don't listen to the song like three times a day as I usually do, then I'm watching the actual update itself at least once a day. It's fucking, like, I think it's the greatest update so far, um, as far as I've read. I mean, um, and then after that, a close second is, um, I don't know, the end of Act 5, Act 5 two. even though I, I don't know what the fuck just happened, and I don't think you're supposed to know, I don't think you're supposed to get what's happening during the end of the act until he, like, breaks it down for you, so you're just, like, in a state of what the fuck the entire time, which is still kind of entertaining. You know, nothing ever strikes me as weird anymore, so I'm just going to answer this question with, like, what are my favorite euphemisms for genitalia? For females, I like beef strips. I think that's the funniest. Uh, my boyfriend calls it, their well, when he's saying, like, he's going to go down on a woman, he says, I'm going to go to the fishmonger. I think that's pretty funny. For a guy, I like twigs and berries. Wow, that's a pretty deep question. Um, I'm not really at the point of existential drunk yet, so let me get there. Isn't it kind of crazy that I've only had like two shots and like I was I was slurring more before when I started the video.
to then now. But it's definitely hitting me. Um, something to make my life more meaningful, like for me, based on my experience or just like in general. In general, I think it's like, um, I know this is totally cliche and tried to say, but expanding your horizons. I really mean that. Um, so that entails like getting out of your comfort zone, get to do some traveling, make lists, write, read, read the right kind of literature for one. Um, did I say make lists? I think I already said that. I don't know, but like, just prioritize. You know, like, have a routine. Give your life some order so that between the cracks, <sighs> oh, excuse me. What's the word? <sighs> I fucking forgot the word. I, I don't know, but like just, you know, just take, just take one day at a time and don't treat the future as like some kind of immutable kind of thing, okay? Just relax for one, go against the grain, find where you are in the world, how you fit in. And even then, that's going to change throughout your life. So, just find your own pace of life. You know, living in America, it sets this pace for you that I think is a faulty expectation. So, just do you at your own pace and fuck the rest. <laughs>